Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev. Rafael Fiziev is 12-1, and and he's got a lot of hype. Big knockout wins in the last round over Rafael Dos Anjos in a five-rounder and Brad Riddell in a three-rounder with a beautiful spinning back hook kick, check kicks, whatever the fuck kick. And uh, yeah, he's just a dynamic striker. He also got Renato Moicano, Renato Moicano out of there with strikes in round one. He uh, took Bobby Green to, to a decision and won you know, two out of three rounds. Faded a little bit there, but still, uh, he clearly outpointed him. And yeah, he also had big wins in the UFC over Giacchese, Mark Giacchese and Alex White. His only loss comes in his UFC debut to Magomed Mustafaev, in which he was hit, uh, hit with a big spinning back kick, hook kick, chick kick, shit kick, whatever. And it went the other way. You know, this time he was on the receiving end of it and it landed perfectly, which it happened. Uh, he did go out, you know, from the subsequent ground and pound, but I can't attribute it to a shitty chin or anything. A strike like that, I think it's one of those Uriah Hall, Gegard Mousasi shit situations where, you know, it's just really tough to deal with. But uh, on the feet offensively, he is so slick. He's such a good striker. Uh, Rafael Fiziev, or Rafael Fiziev, there's no Brazilian uh, or Portuguese uh, accents here, or whatever the fuck. Anyway, pronunciation. Justin Gaethje is 23-4. and four. He's, you know... 19 of his wins come by knockout, and probably a good amount of them come by leg kicks, but overall, Justin Gaethje, everything he throws is going to give you a, a concussion. If he kicks you in the leg, you got a concussion. He's just a concussive fighter, and I do think, I agree with him. I think he's the most exciting fighter in MMA, probably in MMA history. He's fucking amazing. I just poked myself in the eye. That's on camera. Justin Gaethje, uh, he loves turning things into a war. And it's worked against him sometimes, but uh, most of the time it works in his favor. If you don't believe me, go ask Luis Palomino. Had two fucking excellent wars with that guy back in uh, PFL or WSOF. But anyway, Justin Gaethje in the UFC has been defeated here four times. Eddie Alvarez and Dustin Poirier took him out by knockout. And Charles Oliveira and Khabib took him out by submission. Charles and Khabib, I don't think that's a path to victory for, for Ziv. Uh, and even in those fights, Gaethje had a good first round against both those guys. Knocked Charles Oliveira down, even though he got submitted at the end of the round. And against Khabib, he was doing very well on the feet in round one. Stalking and marching him down. Against uh, Eddie Alvarez and uh, Dustin Poirier, he was knocked out in the third round and the fourth round of those fights. There is no fourth round in this fight here against Fiziev. But uh, those are two elite fighters, obviously. Two guys in their primes, and Gaethje went to war with them. Uh, he had his moments, more than his share of moments, against both guys. And it, again, it wasn't until the very end of those fights, or deep into the, the fights, in which he was uh, taken out. And he just had, he couldn't stand. I don't think he went down in either fight. Oh, he did kind of go down in the Eddie Alvarez fight from a big knee. But, he, you know, he got up and started staggering. Like, Why'd you stop it? You know, Gaethje is just fucking awesome. And I do think he's definitely being undervalued here. Fiziev is the faster striker, slicker striker, but Gaethje is the concussive striker and the bigger striker. He's got, well, he's taller anyway. He's got three inches of height. Fiziev has reach, one and a half inches of reach, but that's arm reach. I don't know about their legs, but Gaethje's the taller guy. And I do think, uh, I expect some heavy counters here down low from Gaethje. I think this fight starts off slow. Fiziev's trying to be slick. I think Justin Gaethje makes it a war by the end of round one. And I like Gaethje to win the fight, to be honest. I do worry about his durability overall. You know, he just has those two knockout losses, but he was hurt. Uh, dropped against uh, Charles Oliveira. I thought he would get TKO'd. And he might have if uh, Charles Oliveira wasn't that good on the, you know, uh, on the ground. But still... Rafael Fiziev is not good on the ground. You know, at least he's got one submission in his 12 victories. Definitely not a lot of submission prowess there. Same for Gaethje. One submission victory in his 23 victories. Uh, this fight, I think, if it ends, it ends with strikes either way. And I like Gaethje to, uh, you know, win a striking battle. I like Gaethje to win a striking battle. I think power can beat speed, and I think it's going to. I think Speed's going to be beating power early on, but Gaethje is just durable, typically, and relentless. 
And I think he's going to beat Fiziev up, start to slow him down a little bit to generate the fight into a war and take over. So I like Gaethje to win. I guess if you put a gun to my head, I'd say he wins a decision. Of course, a late stoppage wouldn't uh, surprise me at all. But uh, Fiziev, you know, I just uh, I want to see more from him. I, I don't even know how to uh, predict one of his losses because he's only lost once. And it was by something that I can't consider a fluke, but a very wild strike that I don't see coming from Justin Gaethje. Uh, ironically, it could come from Fiziev. But yeah, Gaethje, plus 180, I'll take it in a striking battle against a striker. You know, a, a fight against a striker here. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.